This is a, a fairly useful little uh, coloured light source that is sold for identifying drones, and it's really simple. Uh, you mount this on whatever you want to be able to identify from a distance, and or it's got other applications as well. And you've simply got three little dip switches here. I'll show you, I'll bring it up a bit. Three little dip switches here that when you switch them on, they enable either red, green or blue. And the LEDs here are just plain 50-50 LEDs. They've not got a chip in them. They're not like the WS2812B type chips that are addressable. It really is just switch, resistor and a row of three LEDs. So you can just basically program a colour by switching on a combination of the um, the switches. So um, this came from a supplier called uh, Lakey X 101. It was £1.48, which is about, in American currency, is about £2.25, $2.25, should I say. And it comes as just a separate bit of wire. And I soldered that in myself. But, you know, you can just hook it up with whatever wire you've got in your, your device. And that's really it. It's 12 volt, uh, although it run, does run down to 9 volts and has the seven colours that you can select. And it's kind of, it's very simple. Uh, uh, to give you an idea of the schematic, I just doodled it out. Um, let's, uh, yeah, that's all right, that shows. So um, the reds have a 270 ohm resistor in series of them, then the greens and blues each have a 100 ohm resistor plus the switch, and that is fundamentally it. So um, this isn't just uh, suited to identification of things. You could uh, use it as a light source, you know, just put a, a dome over it and just have it as a fixed single colour programmable light. So for instance, uh, if you wanted uh, cyan, you could switch on green and blue and that would give the cyan colour. Uh, the white is a fairly passable white, actually. Um, now, when you turn the voltage down, though, because the red LEDs have a lower forward voltage, as soon as you get down to about the lowest I'd recommend is about 9 volts, um, it does start drifting towards a sort of red spectrum a wee bit because the, uh, the, the reds will pass in a slightly higher current than the greens and blues just because they have a combined forward voltage that's much lower than 9, nine volts. It's a useful little device. I should mention that um, if you're we're using this on things like drones at 12 volts, then the each circuit of LEDs will run at 12, uh, 20 milliamps per circuit. So if you had this on at full white, like it is at the moment, but at the full intensity, it would draw about 60 milliamps, which is quite high. Uh, at 9 volts, it draws about 20 milliamps for them all. And if you switch them individually um, on 12 volts, it works out about 20 milliamps, uh, just for a single colour, and uh, and the, if you turn it way down to 9 volts, it's something like 2 milliamps for blue and green, and about, uh, let's see what it is for the red, um, about 10 milliamps the red. But, um, yeah, it's a useful little device, it's, got, it's got, got its functions, it's, you know, I can imagine that if you were doing some technical prop or something, and you just wanted to be able to experiment with the colours instead of just having a fixed coloured strip in it, uh, on, a, on a panel, then it would be useful to be able to actually change colours like this. But um, it's, it's a neat enough little device. It's a quite a neat little circuit board.